neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ramirez is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He'll return it from the four-yard line. At the 30. Tackle at the 32-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Makes it to the 31. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. And he converts the extra point with a three-play, 68-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Leonard takes it to 15. Gets out to about the 31. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They give to the tailback. Nice run, and he's brought down. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 36. Quick throw out to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. some time and they got it they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that it's second and 11 ball on the 46 yard line strike to the receiver. He's tackled at about the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. go to the ground game and they get him in the backfield for a loss
They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got it complete, and he's out of bounds. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he hits him hard at the 11-yard line. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 11. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Rifles it right side. It's up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. Across the 30. And down he goes at the 50-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Here's the give. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 48. the 40. Tackle at about the 35. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. And he is drilled at the 23. From the 23-yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. The 10, the 5, he's in for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Leonard fields at the 17. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. At the corner. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First and 10, ball on the 43. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. And we've reached the end of one. 14-3, Wolfpack.
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. tailback open and he can't hang on so they couldn't pick up the long yardage and now they'll have to punt the offense really had nowhere to go on that one the play was very well defended and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt Ruiz is the punter he's out to the 30 he makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line flag on the play let's see what it is clipping receiving team So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. From their own 15-yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the 36. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Complete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball and it comes out a little wobbly. He heaves it deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play but he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. He guns it. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Thomas is back deep to return the punt. He's taken down at the 24. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. On the throw, incomplete pass. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Run right side. Tackled after a decent pickup. They come out on an empty backfield. Scrambling around. Diving for extra yardage. From their own 41 yard line. First down. They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That'll bring up second and 11. He's scrambling. There's a fumble. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. Right. 
And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. Offense lines up in a five wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. And they get the sack. Great job back-to-back -back plays by the defense. These hits take a toll on a quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. He's at midfield, looking for the corner. The 10. He scores. What a play. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one is coming back. Here it is. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Taken down at the 40-yard line. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 19, Mike 19. Shut the motion, motion check, check. And he tackles him hard at the 33. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. we will be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Tipped. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. Thomas is back to receive. <laughs> and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. <laughs> They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. Quick throw. The defense calls a timeout. In your face. It out. He's met immediately. These three and outs are quite simply momentum killers. The defense calls a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. Ruiz to punt. <laughs> Tackle at the 42-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Throws it to the outside. Almost picked off. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after it. They come out in a five-wide set. Nice play across the middle. He's at the 20. He's still going. And down he goes at about the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. He flings it. Number one was the intended receiver. 
Ball inside the 10-yard line. Second down. Decent run here, right side. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Leonard makes it the 15. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he's going to be sacked. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. So the sack makes this a second and long. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 21-3, Wolfpack. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick, you know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. You know, this defense played so well in the first half. I was very impressed. I know that, and I couldn't be more impressed with how they've carried it over to the third quarter. Well, the most impressive thing is the way they've been able to maintain that into this second half. They played lights out in the first half, but they just seem to be getting better as this game goes on. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on their own 26. He tackles him for a loss. He unloads it. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend.
first and ten. Ball on their own 40. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Flips it middle to the running back. Tackle at the 46-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Ruiz awaits the snap. He'll take it from the 18. Brought down at the 30. He showed a good burst there. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. From their own 45-yard line, first down. He's at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, and they bring him down at the 10-yard line. First down. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Out of bounds at the six. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Two times, two times. They try running left. He's tackled at the five-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it third It's third down and five to go. Ball on the five. Five wide. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Thomas takes it at the 16. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The Mustangs have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. of touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick.
Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Quick pass. They'll knock him down for a loss. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 46. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll make it 39. under pressure fires it quickly incomplete almost picked off this is a very well coached defense they know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes he'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20 this one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. What a game it's been for him running the ball, Kirk. Well, it's a lot of fun when you're not getting touched until you get to the second level of the defense. That way, he has plenty of room to be able to make some big plays. It seems like every single time he touches the football, something big happens for this offense. If I were the offense coordinator, I would continue to find unique ways to get the football in his hand. He's helped to put his team in a winning position, so let's see if he can keep that up or if the defense can contain him here. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He fights forward to about the 23. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 23. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. Well, Herbie, we really didn't see this one coming. Total dominance through three quarters. The Wolfpack lead 31-3. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. And they'll bring him down behind the line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 33. And a quick throw. And he's tackled at the 44. Yeah. <laughs> 
He'll get the call again. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Thomas is back awaiting the punt. He fields it at the 17. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. He steps out of the 38-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. seven-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Just under three to go in regulation. Caught out of the open. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set. And a defense anticipating pass here. And he's sacked. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. Second and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Back gets three on the carry. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. some pressure on this quarterback. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. The 
contributions from this defense is one reason they've got the lead. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Under a minute left. Play action. Look at a scramble now. He can't get away from the pressure. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Second down. Tough spot here deep in their own territory. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down around the 10-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. There's a strike complete. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. That brings us fourth and three. Ruiz is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Well, one team showed up strong today. The other team, unfortunately, didn't show up at all. 31-3, Wolfpack. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.